Hello everyone, I am Samarjit Yadav, welcome to you uh, in this Mitre Attack series video number 1. So it's a red teaming and blue teaming guys. I hope you all are doing well and uh, doing so much cool stuff. And uh, yeah, Mitre Attack series is one of the important things uh, which you should learn because you can see uh, the new latest attack, uh, what, what we are seeing from the 25th of September. One of the ransomware it is exactly hitting uh, many industries. And the name of the ransomware is Agrigor. So Agrigor is uh, one of the dangerous ransomware nowadays. Let's see and uh, we will check out the red teaming and blue teaming. Why it is necessary uh, for an organization and how how it is going to be very important for a cyber security analyst. So we have first one is red teaming. So what exactly red teaming? You you all guys have already heard uh, that uh, red teaming is one of the security profession. But what exactly it is? What what is the working of it? And how it is different from blue teaming? So it's a nothing but a consist of security professionals who act as adversaries, adversaries or intensive threat actor. Uh, this is one of the most important question. Sometimes uh, interview uh, always asks the dead that what is threat actor. So it's to overcome cyber security controls and what what are the cyber security that controls? That's a vulnerable finding the vulnerabilities of of any organization, checking all the cool stuff, checking it, even checking the CCTV cameras whether it's uh, able to hack or not. So. Uh, it is a full scope, we can say, and a multi layered attack simulation designed to measure how well a company's people and network application and within the physical security controls can withstand an attack from real life adversary. Uh, we can see some, some of the faces like uh, of, um, uncovering operating systems in use. Uh, whether the OS is still updated or not, uh, what what are the vulnerabilities in that OS, uh, from where any attackers can attack, and then identifying the make and model of networking, that how the network of any organization has built up, and understanding the physical controls like doors, locks, cameras, security personnel. Uh, one of the important thing that your uh, RFID, right? You uh, which uh, always carry that uh, there is a lot of information in that RFID. So uh, that RFID is still, uh, uh, we can say, um, it's good having the, that that much security level or not. Means uh, RFID can be cloned. So they always try to check that uh, each and every parameter of that security. Or uh, learning what ports are open. See, there are many uh, ports which shouldn't be open in any of the organizations uh, for externally, like 22 SSH, SSH right? So it's it's one of the most dangerous port we can say hey, for the remote logins. Uh, so it shouldn't be uh, open for the um, organization for externally. Creating a map of the network to determine what ports are running what services along with where traffic is being sent. So the traffic, uh, they determine all the traffic that where it is exactly is sending. Okay, before before proceeding more, I would like to uh, tell you that if if you are really interested in the cyber security field or or learn to fight attack series, then press the bell icon. Just subscribe the channel. And you will got uh, get all the notification from our channel whenever we upload any of the any of the video. And watch watch this uh, up to the full. I can say up to the last point because there is lot of information because there is some question and answer. There is some question and answer which which is asked by the interviewer. If you are going for a job, then definitely they can ask what is threat actor, what is threat team, what is blue team, what is proper team, and how, why, why it is necessary uh, red team, why it is necessary blue team, 
how how it's uh, affecting the uh, how it is going to benefit the organization so there are a lot of more questions so we will talk about uh, later in this video so uh, there is some example of red team exercise what what they exactly do they do penetration testing social engineering phishing intercepting communication software tools and card cloning as i, I was talking about so these these are the some things they they always try to do in an organization so the next one is blue teaming blue teaming is just opposite to that red teaming what the purpose of blue teaming it actually known as the SOC team so if you want a security analyst right so you should know what are the defensive what are the mitigation process for the any attacks so blue teaming use a variety of methods and tool as countermeasures to protect a network from cyber attacks whatever the things or whatever the uh, in, we can say like sim tool we uh, soc soc process use sim tool maybe it's curator or maybe it's splunk or any other sim so they try sim they implement sim in their organization just to catch all the traffic that whether it's malicious suspicious whatever the traffic so through that they uh, take this approach for improving the uh, mitigation process and a blue team we can say as i said is the company's own cyber security person typically within a security operation center so the soc consists of highly trained analysts who work on defending and improving their organization defenses around the clock so if you are a soc analyst it doesn't mean you have to do the only operations you have to all uh, should also know about the malware analysis uh, why shark uh, how the packets uh, uh, we can capture and how we can analyze so these all the stuffs uh, we do in the blue team so it's uh, we can i can directly say that it uh, it is a team which opposes that uh, attacks of red teaming so here is uh, some exercises examples uh, i have written so much you can read it not a problem so you can see installing endpoint security software as i was mentioning for laptops and smartphones ensuring firewall access uh, maybe they have palo alto uh, one of the uh, anti uh, sorry firewall or maybe the different one and uh, deploying ids and ips implementing sim solutions and analyzing the logs so there are a lot of things and uh, they also use sometimes ss ss is one of the uh, things uh, which is used to uh, scan the the vulnerability of any ip or any any of the domain you can see right so these exercises comes under the blue team now uh, if a company having a blue team and a red team who is going to maintain them so it's a purple team purple team is one of the team which is responsible for the uh, we can say not a competition we can say a healthy competition between the red team and blue team uh, in order to uh, increase the security level of organization so if they are not incentivized to have the blue team strengthen their security by sharing information and how they uh, bypass their security okay so finally we came on interview questions so here so we already discussed about what is a red team and what is a blue team right but top five red team and blue team skills what what is it is exactly that so we have uh, there are as we discussed in five red team i can say there is some penetration testing clone uh, cloning card and etc etc and blue teaming as well there is sim they use sim uh, for the mitigation process uh, for analyzing the logs they use ss for uh, finding the vulnerabilities of any ips and at last either you can also ask that uh, the what is the purple team because you never uh, check that okay so guys if you feel like this video you can follow us on cosecker07 on insta samajit yadav on uh, twitter and you can 
can directly ping me if you need any any type of help regarding this uh, this video so, uh, hope the next video will come soon uh, that will be much uh, deeper and much I will try to elaborate uh, more uh, till now just keep remember there is one hour and where you can you can just take all the IOCs and you can block in your organization so thanks bye bye